Sigma males must have encountered at least one girl who tries to play hard to get. But bro, as a Sigma male, you don't have the dance to her tune. You shouldn't allow anyone to manipulate you. Without wasting any more time, here's a no BS guide for Sigma males on what to do if she's playing hard to get. One thing about women is that they love attention. The more, the better. In this case, the more attention you give her, the more she's going to play hard to get. So what do you do? Just ignore her, bro. And I'm not just saying this. I've dated multiple ladies, and one thing I notice is that the moment when you stop giving them the attention they crave, they become more interested in you. There are times when I'm chatting with a particular girl, and if I notice she isn't very responsive or doesn't seem interested, I'll just stop talking to her. Trust me when I say bro, 9 out of 10 times she comes crawling back. She's definitely going to know why you suddenly stopped giving her attention. Think about it. The reason why gold or diamonds are so valuable is that they're scarce. If they were available at every corner, you wouldn't want one. So if you start acting like you have better things to do and your attention becomes scarce, her demand for it increases. Put value on your attention and she'll come crawling back to you. Now, once you have ignored her, as I said, I can guarantee you that she's going to reach out to you. Let me tell you what will most likely happen. She's probably going to want to hang out with you. She'll most likely bring up a place that you had previously asked her to go with you. But she turned it down because she was playing hard to get. Listen closely here when you both meet up. She might try to move the ball back to her court because she knows she no longer has the upper hand. How do I know this? A lot of ladies try this move with me. But because I'm not a sim, I don't let them ever get that ball again. While you're both hanging out, she might try to get you to do most of the talking. Don't fall for that old trick. Act like you aren't interested. Make her do all the talking and all the work since you've been the one doing all the work all this time. Keep all of your responses as short as possible. If she asks about your day, there's no need to tell her, oh, I did this and that, or this or that happened at work. Keep it simple and just say you were busy. It'll make her wonder if the reason why you are busy or the reason why you no longer give her attention is because there's a hotter girl who's got your attention now. Her ego is not going to let that slide. Now that you have more likely than not wounded both her ego and pride by acting like you don't need her or her attention, she's going to want to find out if there's someone else. Not all girls will do this. From my experience, they will usually either straight up ask me if I have gotten a girlfriend or ask if I would like to go out again. And she might try to be casual about it. Don't fall for that trick, bro. If she asks you whether you have a girlfriend, either ignore the question or give a generic answer. And if she tells you, hey, we should hang out more often, or let's do this again some other time, just tell her, maybe, I'll see if I'll be free. After that, don't be scared if she doesn't call you for a while. She's most likely licking her wounds or thinking about cutting her losses. Take a few weeks before you message her and ask if she wants to meet up. Before you do this, pick a day when you'll either be at the club or at a party. The most important thing is to ask her to meet you on your own turn. Just make sure there'll be a place where there'll be other hot girls. When she comes, don't go following her around like a lovesick puppy. That will undo all the work you have put in so far. Give a little attention when she gets there. Then leave her alone for the rest of the night. When I tried this trick, it worked like magic. I was at a friend's party. I called her and said, hey, do you want to come to a party I'm at? She showed up, all dressed up, probably trying to make me feel like I was missing out or something. I didn't say anything about how she looked. I just told her I'm glad she made it. After that, I straight up ignored her for the rest of the party and flirted with other ladies. Some weren't even as hot as she was, but that was part of my plan. What she didn't know was that I was keeping an eye on her the entire time. I noticed when she had enough and stood up to leave. So I chased after her and asked her why she's leaving. Naturally, she was pissed I ignored her all night, even though she came all dressed up. That's when I told her, look, I'm sure you know this, but I like you. Because she was pissed, she said no and brought up she can only be friends. But I told her I'm not looking for female friends or any friendship with her. I want her to be my girlfriend. And if that's not possible, I won't be contacting her again. Because when I get a girlfriend, I don't want her to feel insecure about me making friends with a girl as beautiful as her. That took her back and probably made her think, maybe he's not such a bad guy after all. Maybe he's nice. If I keep playing hard to get, I might lose this guy. I left her there and walked back to the party. And guess who followed me back? She did.